Hey guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina with a quick fishing report for your weekend outlook. Right now, we're excited about all the great gag grouper fishing we have left to do before gag grouper season ends. We're excited for a great full moon weekend and we're excited about all the great hog fishing action that's yet to come. So a lot of cool stuff coming up event wise too. Really, really good events coming. We've of course got our final Friday event tonight that we're super pumped about from six to 9 p.m. We're gonna be giving away lots of free crawfish free beer there's a john's pass wide pub crawl there's live music and so much more so hopefully we'll see you tonight for john's passes final friday event and the hubbard's marina party is a great part of final friday plus of course we've got great fishing and weather to talk about too weather wise it's a little bit uh tough right now weather wise we're coming into a little bit of a treacherous weekend we've got some higher rain chances windy overnight friday night and then saturday it's going to be a little adverse and then into sunday it gets a little bit nautical sunday monday tuesday and into wednesday it starts calming down looks like the second half of the work week thursday and friday specifically looking pretty darn good so the front half of this full moon looks like a good opportunity to fish then behind the full moon weather's going to get a little nautical this is that time of year where we have these cold fronts roll down and they kind of run out of steam and stall either just north or just south of us and that's what happened a cold front stall and it's been hanging out and it's been creating some tropical and subtropical moisture getting pulled up towards us and really increasing our rain chances here recently and then this weekend as that cold front kind of recedes back we still have some high rain chances but then a high pressure builds in and a, and a strong east wind is going to cause some some offshore disturbances there sunday monday into tuesday and wednesday so get out there near shore and capitalize on the good fishing behind the full moon or an inshore where the weather won't affect us as bad tuesday in, uh, on our near shore forecast we're only expecting around two maybe two and a half foot so it's not bad weather sunday monday tuesday wednesday near shore it's really offshore as that east wind moves further west the further west you get the more exponentially bumpy it's going to get so uh really not bad weather near shore over sunday to, to wednesday but offshore if you're trying to get out there on like say the flying up two extreme trips it's going to be a little too bumpy it seems like so that is what we're looking at the 12 hour night snapper we're hoping to maybe get that out but it's questionable right now with high wind and rain chances through the night friday into saturday it's just a really really kind of turbulent atmosphere right now with these cold fronts stalling and potentially becoming tropical and then a high pressure building in behind them creating that stiffer east wind that pressure gradient really firing up the winds and the offshore weather so that's what we're looking at weather wise as far as fishing goes, you're going to hear a little bit from Captain Joe about our Flying Hub 2 Extreme trips, a little bit from Captain Will about the 39-hour adventures and other long-range trips. As far as inshore fishing goes, we're seeing some really, really good redfish action right now. The redfish action has been stellar. We're seeing a lot of redfish at high tides in those mangrove shorelines, lower tides on those edges starting to group up together quite actively. In the past here, we're seeing them around those dock lights and bridge lights at night, especially towards the bottom. We're seeing them during the day, cruising occasionally through the dock lines as well. Dead baits working really well, shrimp on the bottom, uh, also a good option for those redfish too. Live shrimp seems to be the option in John's Pass and the back bay, the greenbacks become a better option. Around the mangrove shorelines, cut dead bait right up in the trees are really a good option towards higher tide. Then also the snook action has been pretty good still around the pass and on the beaches. We're starting to see most of those snook push into the back protected bay waters, upper bay waters, and we're starting to see a lot of that transition happen. Really not as many snook here in the early morning, but there's still a few. So you have a chance still to get those snook, but it's only gonna last a little while longer. So make sure you take advantage of it now. Early morning dock light bridge lights are a great option live shrimp on lighter tackle where you can get away with one of those pinfish or my favorite is a live pig fish tail hooked on the bottom we're also seeing uh, a lot of those snook coming up on some of the artificial lures 
Uh, I really like a rattle trap or one of those mirror lure mirror deans or even a DOA shrimp is a good option for the snook as well. Then we're looking at a lot of sheep's head coming in. Sheep's head are already starting to fill up the dock area and around the bridge, but there's still quite a few mangrove snapper around too. So you got lots of options there. There's uh, some Jack Cravel schools moving around some mornings. We're seeing the Jack Cravels busting bait around the beach, jetty, bridge, and even in the back bay waters. Start to see a few mackerel showing up. It's early, but the mackerel are starting to show up here. So we have that getting better and better and won't be too long before we see a kingfish. Probably in the next full moon, I would imagine we have a chance for uh, the kingfish to be here in pretty good numbers. So looking forward to the fall kingfish and mackerel run. Uh, which is probably right around the corner for us here. And then also we're seeing some uh, pompano around pretty good, a few flounder too, late season tarpon and plenty of sharks. Then near shore right now, the hogfish bite, it keeps getting a little bit better and a little bit better. Uh, but right now this weather kind of making it a little tough for hogfish. But I would imagine Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're gonna see some pretty good hog fishing. Backside of the moon, that east wind's gonna be making us anchor up. We're probably gonna see some hog fish on our five hour half days, 10 hour all day Tuesday. Uh, should be a good opportunity to get after those hog fish on the live shrimp, lighter 30 or 40 pound leader, three and four out hooks, real good option. You could use a one to two ounce egg sinker rig knocker rig style on like a three to 4,000 series spinning reel. We have that great hog fishing tips and tricks video on our fishing tips page on hubbardsmarina.com, which is a great way to learn more about hog fish tips, tricks, and techniques and what tackle to use as well for those hog fish. We're seeing a lot of lane snapper near shore while targeting the hogfish. You got a chance at getting a mangrove snapper too, especially a small chunk of thread fin, but you can catch mangrove snapper using that hogfish uh, methodology as well. So we're seeing some of the, the lane snapper and mangrove snapper come up as bycatch while targeting the hogfish. So that's an exciting addition to our near shore report. Then offshore, you're gonna hear from Captain Joe, Captain Will, but on all of our trips, remember, super light loads right now, better weather as far as uh, not so hot out and uh, really good opportunities for lots of one-on-one -on -one time with our captains and crews. So hopefully you'll get a chance to come out and enjoy the great fishing and the great opportunities to hang out with us and spend more time talking, getting to know us and connecting on the water. We've got great events coming up. We've been talking about them nonstop. Hopefully you plan to join us. Not only do we have final Friday tonight from six to nine, but then of course, every Saturday from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. we have our Real Animals radio show. Every Sunday night, 7.30 p.m. we have our live stream show. And then keep in mind, October 3rd from six to eight, we're gonna be over there at Bartow Ford. Free food from Silver Ring Cafe. We've got free Real animal swag. We're gonna bring some Hubbard's Marina swag. We have the Bull Bay rods to give away, some Ingle Cooler stuff to give away. And I'm gonna be talking near shore and offshore fishing in person with Cap Mike there too. So hopefully you'll join us Tuesday night, October 3rd. October 7th at Safety Harbor. I'll be speaking at 11 a.m. at the Off the Hook event. October 15th, I'm gonna be over there at Bass Pro Shops at 2 p.m. as well. So great opportunities to come hang out and join us. Hopefully we'll see you out there. And don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Fun. Good morning, guys. Captain Joe here with Hubbard's Marina. Just wanted to give y'all a quick update on the Flying Hub 2 catch lately. The bite's been really good. We had a little bit of weather, but we're past it for the most part. Um, the gag grouper fish is still pretty good. Bycatch is pretty good. We're catching some mangrove snapper, some trigger fish. As far as the baits go, we're catching the gags really on everything. I think uh, the biggest tip or biggest recommendation I have is to fish heavy. We like to start out using at least 80 pound test, um, eight ounce weight, seven out hook and big baits. We're using live baits, big chunks of bonitas, uh, thread fins are working. So it's a really good bite on the gag grouper, but you gotta start out fishing heavy. And if you're not getting bit on 80, then maybe scale down, but we're breaking off as many fish as we're catching. Uh, to be honest. And uh, we're catching some mangrove snapper. We're back to fishing some smaller pieces of bottom. So we're not catching a ton of mangrove snappers, but the one that, ones that we are catching are really nice size ones. So uh, 
you guys getting back out here with us we got really light loads right now and being that the lo we have such light loads right now uh rich and i or, or john and rich whoever's running the boat at the time have a lot more time to spend with you guys i know red snapper season's a lot of fun i really enjoy it myself but every year those trips fill up with 16 people right now we're going with eight nine ten people so there's plenty of room plenty of elbow room we got plenty of time to spend with you guys so you can really take advantage of catching gag groupers. The weather's nice. We're not going if it's rough out, but it's really nice out. It's not nearly as hot as the summertime. So you guys come out and take advantage of the good weather and the light loads. I got you. Go ahead, Will. Uh, All right, so offshore fishing report. Uh, we just got back in from a 39 hour trip and uh, it was a missed call on the weather. We thought we were gonna be in rain out there the whole trip and it, we didn't see any rain the whole trip off in the distance maybe but uh good weather out there uh the guide groupers are still around uh decent on the mangroves uh, we uh we've been fishing an area uh, similar to our red snapper area for these gags and they're tricky they're getting tricky out there so we're going to try a different area this next trip and uh see if we can get into some a bigger grade of mangroves and get back into those like 30 to 40 head gag trip uh as far as the baits right now, cut baits are working great. Big cut baits are working great for the gags. Uh, variety, whatever you can get, a porgy, blue runner, bonita, and use big leader and big hook. I missed one this trip, I didn't have a big enough hook. I had a huge bait and I had an eight alt hook in it and missed a nice fish and it was because of the hook, I know it was. So you need a big hook if you're using a big bait and 100 pound test leader. We were breaking a lot of fish off this trip. So we're getting into a time of year right now where uh, the kids are back in school and uh, we're just generally not as busy, but uh, like during red snapper season, but the fishing's still good out there. Sometimes you'll even catch more fish during the off season than you would during red snapper season. Just because there's less people on the boat, the crew has more time to talk with you and get you dialed in with the fishing. Uh, we just got more more one-on-one -on -one time when there's half of a load versus a, a 50 person trip. We're just running around and stringing an ice and fish. But these trips will give you a little more room on the rail, a little more time with the crew, uh, and just a little bit more comfortable fishing out there. So come on out, guys. It's good fishing right now. Gag grouper, mangrove snapper, a lot of mutton snappers are coming in, and big yellowtails as well.